Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday to you. Um, I got so many good things this week. I'm excited to show you everything. I got several swaps and then a couple of gifts. So, And then I got a little bit of things for myself that I'll show you. Um, I actually have not been really shopping this week. We've had a lot of stuff to do with getting ready for school. But I did watch QVC last week, um, and thanks so much for all of you for telling me, but I watched it Friday night. So the things that I got from QVC are, um, I got the duo um, Leslie and Lisa uh, Buxom Lip. I love these. I love these glosses, and I'm definitely going to get more um, of those. And then I bought some, I watched all the kits and stuff like that, but really I don't, I don't want any brushes. I don't need any... Um, you know, I didn't want any of the eyeliners, the traditional eyeliners or anything like that. That girlfriend kit kind of interests me, but I decided not to get that. Um, so I ended up just picking out some um, single mineral shadows that I couldn't get from Ulta. And the first one I got is Coco. And I've, of course, written the name on the top. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a real plummy brown. And Liz Fish won has been wearing this a few times and um, I really liked it. The color I got was Camp and so many of you have said that this is your all-time favorite color and when you tell me something like that, believe it, I keep it in my mind so I start looking for it and um, this is a really pretty color too. Um, got some out. I think it's more of a, I'm not sure if it's a, um, the cocoa is more of a matte it's a um, it's sheer matte, but this is the camp. You can see it's gorgeous. I almost wish I would have worn that today. So I love that. I, I mean, I'm just really tickled to death with all of my stuff I got. And then the last one I got is what I have on today, and it's called Desire. And it's very similar to, um, let's see, it is a um, glimmer, and it's very similar to... Um, bare skin. If you like bare skin, it might be a little bit, I don't know, maybe a little bit peachier and not as, um, maybe not as warm. Maybe a little bit, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a little bit pinkier. I don't know. It's beautiful though. I love it. So that's what I have on today. And I think that is just about it that I got myself this week because I sent out a bunch of packages, as you'll see with the packages that I got. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you is, of course, a wonderful package from my friend Angelique. And you guys know she sends me marvelous stuff. And she sent me a big package of things from um, Germany and when she went to um, Italy. So first of all, she sent me this little pouch. She always has the prettiest packaging. Um, and it has different things in it, like these earrings. I just think those are just absolutely fabulous. This set of rings, which I love those stack rings. In Germany, they just have the neatest stuff. It's just so different looking. And then she sent me, and I was real tickled about this because I don't have many long necklaces, and um, I wanted some. So she sent me this long necklace. You can see my tattoo is fading off there and um, this ring to go with it. So I think that is so pretty. I'm looking forward to wearing those together. The cutest cards. Look at that little crown, little princess crown on that kitten. And then she sent this. I think she sent one to me and Gina and we both loved it. It's like a little lingerie bag that you, you know, wash your bras or your, um, just different things that you don't want to get messed up. And I really use these. I put my bras in these when I wash them. But this one I doubt I'll use. I think I'm just going to hang this in my laundry room because it's just so pretty. Because I have kind of, I have a pink breakfast nook and I have like that shabby chic kind of look. First of all, I thought this was so sweet. Her husband went on a business trip to Hong Kong and picked um, Gina and I and her and her daughter up lip glosses. And I thought that was so, one, thoughtful of her and two, so thoughtful of him. Because, you know, men don't want to do stuff like that, especially when they're away on business. And I hated to take this out of the wrapping. It was in that wrapping, but I just had to try it. And you can see, um, I just love all the packaging. And this is actually, I just noticed, it's called um, Majolica, but it's made by Shiseido. So you know it's nice, because I love everything by Shiseido. 
Then she sent me this, and a lot of this stuff that you're going to see is the Kiko brand, and it is from um, Italy. She sent me that nail polish, which is a really dark, pretty blue-purple. And then she sent me these eyeshadows, which I have not tried. I did try one. Um, I tried this one, and it makes a perfect liner. Remember I said I was looking for a dark brown, sparkly color for a liner. Well, that one's like a dark brown, like burgundy. It's almost like, um, is it Beauty Marked or one of those colors? But I love it. You can see I've used just a little bit of it as liner. Cream shadows. And they come in these cute little heart-shaped cases. And um, they just come off like that. And it's like a cream shadow. And I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to. Um, I've been tempted to use this one as a base or an all-over color. But I was, like I said, waiting to show you guys. Um, it's a real pretty sandy peach color me two more blushes and they come in these pretty packages and this one is called smooth mauve which is perfect for the fall I like to wear a lot of mauve colors gorgeous packaging and everything and then um, this color is what I have on today and I I can't it's hard to pick your favorite but this is definitely one I love and I've used it a couple of times and it's called pearly tan rose and look at those um, shimmer colors in it it really reminds me of um, one of the Chanel, like the tweed blushes, that's what it's real Chanel similar. Chanel mascara that she uses, and it is the Inimitable, and I used it the other day. Love Tweezers, the little blonde girl, if you can see it. Um, this P2 gloss. This is a um, eye pencil from Kiko, and I love it. I've used it a couple of times. It's like a dark gray. This lip gloss is beautiful. It's the P2 High Shine. And for those of you that are asking me some P2 things to get, take note because these are some good things. And this one is called Skyline. And it's a beautiful color. And um, some more P2 lip liners and Mocha. And for those of you, I've always been one that I didn't wear a lot of brown lipstick. So I kind of steered away from Mocha and Cognac and all those lip liners you know, brown, all those lip liners like that, but that is just such an excellent color, especially if you can get one that has a pink tint or a plummy tint to it. They go so great with your pink lip glosses. They look really pretty, and lipsticks is what I meant. Uh, P2 Apricot Nail Care Pen, which I need in the worst way. Um, this lip liner I have used, and it's awesome. It's from Kiko, and I'm not sure if these have a color on it or not. Um... It's the number 205, but I love it because it's that plummy color that looks good with my rose amethyst. Um, this is a Manhattan Water Flash Lip Gloss, and it's supposed to be very moisturizing, and it looks like it's from Germany. I see the German writing. This is one of the first things I put on, and it is beautiful. It's one of those good colors like I like, that good taupey, mauve type color. This, I think, I, yep, I use this color today to fill in my whole lip. It's called Party Vamp. It's just a real rosy pink color. And then I put gloss on top of it. And then this um, Intensive Eye Coal from P2. I haven't used this yet. This is like another gray. I love gray. This lip liner is beautiful. It's plum. Okay, good with my um, mauve colors. And then this is Soul Sister. And this is one of those colors I was telling you about that is, um, you think it would be too brown, but it really looks great with your peaches and nudes and all those colors. Got miss Okay, oh yeah, a Collister Volume Gloss Long Lasting Shine. And I was excited to see this because um, Bonnie had sent me a Collister um, lipstick that I love. And this is beautiful. It's kind of like a pearlescent. I've worn this once, I think. I love it when they have a clear wand like that. It's beautiful. Oh, just love it. I mean, I could just, I, for some reason, I could not get enough makeup in general, but especially lip gloss. I'm just this. This is the eye cream that I was telling you guys about the other day that I love so much, and it's the Walita. And I've heard that you can get this here. I know you can order it online. I think you can maybe get it at Whole Foods, or Gina said that she's even seen some of this stuff at Target. Um, but this is the Wild Rose. Um, eye cream and it's written in German here so I'm not sure I know there's only one of the rose eye creams but it's very um, hate to waste any but it's not like a I don't know if you can see it's like a lotion it's not like 
a thick eye cream, which I like because sometimes when they're too thick, I don't know, they won't absorb. I always use the um, Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye, and a lot of times if you use too much of that, it'll you'll have trouble getting it to absorb. But this absorbs right away, and it has the all natural ingredients that um, help your eyes to not be so puffy has in it. I think really helps with my under eye puffiness. I can really tell a difference and I love it and it's not very expensive so that's worth it. Okay, the next thing I got was from Liz, um, Liz Fish One and we had done a swap and she got mine I believe last week. I think she's going to post her video down here underneath mine if you want to see you know what I sent her. But so I got her package this week and we had the fastest shipping like from here to England, I couldn't believe it. But um, so she sent me some really good stuff. She sent me first of all, and I had to look this up to see who. Um, well, she told me who Cheryl was, and so I looked her up to see who she was. But this is the L'Oreal L Net um, hairspray, like I use, and it's the special edition Cheryl Cole nail polish that I had seen on her, and I believe it is Topshop. Yep, yep, Topshop.com, and it's called Hopscotch. And it's the color that I have on today. And her and I both are into the grays. She sent me a beautiful uh, purse mirror with the bow on it. We'll break them out this weekend. Nice chocolates. My little girl will be so excited to see that. And then the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner. Very excited to try this because this is how I get hooked on a lot of shampoos and stuff is getting a sample and if I like it. Um, and then she sent me some neat stuff. This is the um, Kajal Eyeliner by Sleek. And does this look familiar? It reminds me so much of the Hard Candy. But anyway, it's one of these. And it's the just black. I haven't used yeah, that. She yeah. sent me, she must have heard me say that I love pins. And I do. And she sent me a neat UK pink pin, which I will feel so special in my purse. This was one of the main things. I think this is the only one of the only things that I um, really asked her for. But I noticed that she uses Louise Young brushes too. And I love, not only do I love my Louise Young brushes, but Louise Young herself has emailed me a few times and she just seems so nice. Ask me. Maybe I'll even try to put an annotation up here. So that, I was really excited about that because that is the perfect tight brush. It's kind of like in between a crease brush and a pencil brush and it's perfect for um, just, you know, blending and, you know, putting on my minerals and everything else. And then this is another thing that I had seen her use that I really liked, and it is the Boots, New Boots Lipsticks, and it is the Shine On, Mirror Shine. She got me Belle, which I can say these colors look dark, but they're really not. They're like a gloss stick, really. Belle, which is like a My Lips, but better. Um, Beehive is the one she had on that I loved and it's just like a real pretty nude I recommend anybody to get this unless you like a lot of color it doesn't give a lot of color but it gives such a pretty let me show you it gives such a pretty color and a glossiness it's one of those that you don't need a gloss you don't need a liner um, and then this color is nudist peach and it is a really pretty color. Yeah. Um, I wanted her to get me the um, Bare Minerals Cocoa, but when she went, she couldn't get it. I think the girl said they didn't sell it or something. So she ended up getting me Drama, which I had already gotten from Gina, but I'm gonna keep it anyway because you never know. Eye complex <laughs> um, under eye cream. She sent me some more samples of different things. She sent me these two nail polishes um, from Boot 17. Um, let's see if I can find the color real quick. Toasted Almond, and I love this one, Mint Chocolate Chip. And for some reason, I like wearing these colors. This is a good, all those um, aqua and minty colors look so pretty around Christmas, like with ivory and all the silver and stuff. And they, it's just a pretty color to wear in the winter if you want to wear kind of a funky color that time. And then she sent me some other samples um, and stuff like that, um, scrubs lip gloss. So thank you so much, Liv. This week was just a special gift from Carol. And she is the subscriber of mine that sent me all that big package of Bare Mineral eyeshadows. Um, evidently, she's been into it a while. And so she has really helped me get started. And I appreciate it so much. And when she um, heard me say that I liked a, like a, Topi, toasty color. 
lip gloss. Then she immediately thought of her favorite, and then she sent me another one of her favorites this week. And this is the one that she was talking about, and she got it at Ulta, and I believe it's called, the writing is so small. I believe it is called, um, it's either, I believe it's called Iced Coffee. It's so pretty, and it's one of these all natural, which I had not tried these, and the color is gorgeous. It's just like I said, it's one of those taupey brown colors, and it is just the sexiest, prettiest color. It almost has like that plum undertone. God, I wish I'd have worn this today, too. I just can't, you know, that's what's so neat. It's every day I get excited about what I'm going to wear. And then this one is called Raspberry Tea, and I believe she got this one, she said, in a kit. And I put this one, what, this one on immediately at the post office in the parking lot because I loved it so much. It is beautiful. A sample of the Sorbet Blush, which I had gotten one sample before, but it spilled. It was like in a little plastic container. It spilled, so I was glad to get this. And I used it yesterday, and it's still a little bit too light for me, but I think it might be perfect in the wintertime, so I'm going to keep this. And then this, she sent me um, one eyeshadow called The Gift. And it is so pretty. It's, um, here's the gift. It's a beautiful, rosy, sparkly color. It's so pretty. I'm just tickled with that. And I'm so thankful because I missed out on all of these um, colors. Bless you, Will. Bless you. Bless you. Anyway, I missed out on all of these colors, you know, with the, all these collections. And so, but I do know if I mention a color that is not available now, look on eBay because a lot of these, um, you know, people are selling them and they're unopened, but there's, you know, they like to split up those kits and sell them. And then she sent me this, which is, she says she had a little bit of Precious and a little bit of City Lights, and she noticed that they looked the same, so she just mixed them and sent them to me, and it's just gorgeous. And I will swatch this for you, too. And it's just beautiful. It's like a, I don't know, a pinky. Let's see, you can... That's the thing about bare metals is you can just shear it out as much as you want. So that is beautiful too. And I thank you so much, Carol. I just, I really appreciate it. Totally out of the blue. She didn't tell me it was coming. I had not even heard from her, you know, in a couple of, gosh, at least a month or so. But it's from my friend Olivia. And her and I had done some swaps before. And they were just, not really swaps. She sent me some stuff and I sent her some stuff, just gifts. And she lives in Canada, and she has always sent me the best stuff. Her YouTube name is Shopping Is My Thing. I'm sure you guys have seen her. And so one day I went to the mailbox, and there it was. And I had the hardest time. My mailman had smushed it in my mailbox, and Will and I had to go out there with a metal spatula and, like, pry it out of my mailbox. And when I saw her name, it was all worth it. So, um... She just sent me this, she said, just to thank me for my time and everything that I do. And um, it's just packed full of goodies. So I'm going to show you. First of all, I can't even tell you my favorite thing in here, but this is definitely one of my favorite things. And that's, that's what this box is, is a box of her favorite things because we seem to like all the same stuff. And um, the first thing is this Lorac Perfectly Lit... Um, powder and it says um, perfectly lit oil free luminizing powder instantly gives your skin a luminous red carpet glow now um, I'll show, show you what it looks like and I've got it on today and I put it on kind of like a setting powder right over my foundation before I did anything else so here it is and you'll see it's kind of a tan color and I was comparing it to the Too Faced um, candlelight which this is really like a white color. Um, I'm sure you can see the difference. And that is a really neat difference because this Lorac, first of all, it's softer and easier to get on your brush. I've been using just my powder brush. Um, I think I used my 129. And it's soft and it's more of like a skin tone color. And it is just gorgeous. It's a beautiful finishing powder. There you go. And it's very similar to the same effect that like the mineral veil, those powders like that would give you. So, and it would be perfect to take with you. So, wonderful, love it. I think I have used this at least three or four times this week already. I don't have a body shop. I hear y'all talk about it all the time. So, um, this is a body polisher. 
like this and then she also sent me these gloves which I did not have either one of these and this is perfect because when the fall and winter get here I'm going to start up my little bit of self tanning again just to keep a little bit of color and I was kind of new to that last year and I had to realize that the exfoliating is very very important and she said that she loved these so got those she got me a fragrance um, vanilla lace which is perfect because John likes the smell of vanilla <laughs> they're hunting for rabbits then she got me the Burt's Bees um, lip balm believe it or not I've never tried it she sent me a box of stuff that I have never tried which is unbelievable then she sent me some MAC and I haven't gotten any good MAC lately she sent me this eyeshadow ground brown there which would be perfect eyeliner then she sent me this one which is dark brown then she sent me she always sends me these some cute little tissues this she said um she after she sent this to me she saw my less is more video and she was like oh no but i have already used this and i love it it is the chromaline gel and the color is marine ultra ultra and it is bright blue you can see i've already used it once i used it with my sonia kashuk angle brush and i did i watched again the lisa eldridge kitten flick liner because i really like that look where you hardly have anything else on but you do have a really good strong eyeliner going on and I did this one night and um, I love magenta and most of these are pro items. beautiful oh my goodness it's going to be so beautiful on the lips and um, for my blush so I'm so excited about that lipstick she sent me and I've already worn this once you guys saw, saw, guys saw this the other day um, Hawaiian Orchid nail polish can believe I not didn't have it then I saw, I cannot remember who I saw using this, but I got the Bubblegum Lush Lip Scrub. And it just tastes, I hate to say taste, but you do end up tasting a little bit. It is so neat. You just grab a little bit of it, and it smells just like, oh, it just smells heavenly. They've got to probably come up with a scent like this. Um, but you just take a little bit, and I've been getting a little bit before I get in the shower, and then just scrubbing over my lips, and I just adore it. Thank you so much. She sent me these earrings and this necklace, which is neat. It has that nice little detail at the end. It's beautiful. I love it. Thank you so much, Olivia. That was such a great surprise, and I loved every single piece, and... You're just awesome. You're wonderful. The package that I got this week, I told you guys I had gotten. Oh, one more thing is I did get um, my lipstick. I got four of the six lipstick holders from Stacks and Stacks. The other two are on back order. But, um, so I am going to be doing my Clear Cube and Makeup Collection video soon. Um, I put all my lipsticks in there, and I'm getting organized. So I'll be doing that soon. But then um, this is from Laura. Bracelet, which is beautiful. She sent me these earrings that I'm wearing today. They're... Um, Jessica Simpson, and I love them because they're long and um, flowy, but they're not heavy at all. So I love those. Then she sent me this. She said that she's got blonde hair too, and that this is a great thing to have. And it's the LA Colors All in One Lipstick Blush and Eyeshadow, but she mostly uses it as lipstick. And it's one of those neat big pencils, which I have a whole new respect for these since I got the Laura Mercy or Lise Watier ones from Coco. Okay. Another um, NYC. Um, sugar coated lip gloss. This is the Color Glow Bright Shine Hair Rich Hat. Radiance and Nourishing Treatment for Lightened Hair. Okay. It's by Goldwell. But looking forward to trying that. Usually I like anything that comes in a nice pot like that. Then she sent me these other hair products that things that she likes. The um, Smoothing Serum Blow Drying Serum. That one. Bedhead um, Mega Nutrient Conditioner, the Chi um, Shampoo, Moisture Therapy Shampoo, and this is the Nourishing Oil Treatment from per Periton, which I'm out of my, oh my, what is that one? Not the Argan, the Moroccan Oil. I've been out of that for a little while, so that's good. I've got this. And then she also sent me these nail polishes, which I love, and they're the um, new colors. This one's called Cuckoo for this color. And it's a beautiful dark blue. Perfect for fall and winter. And then this one, I know it's from the new, it's called Yodel Me on My Cell. <laughs> it's from the new Switzerland collection and it's beautiful. So 
so much, Laura. I appreciate every single thing you sent me so much, and I appreciate everything I got from all of you, and I appreciate every one of you that watched me. I just I love talking to you, and I really appreciate you watching. And I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day and then let you go enjoy your week. Run a few errands and maybe, just maybe, do some shopping. Um, and so I put on these pants that I love. They're so soft and comfortable. And these are from New York and Company. Um, this belt is from American Eagle. Um, tank top is from um, J. Crew. And then I've got on my shoes from Sweet Bonnie. And I'll be carrying my spotlight. And for accessories, I have on the earrings that Laura gave me. I have on my love ring. I have on the bracelets that Angelique gave me a little while ago, which I love because they fit snug and they're stretchy and they're easy. And no watch, just my wedding ring. Um, the nail polish that um, Liz Fish gave me, the Top Shop. And I think that's it. And the fragrance I'm wearing today, I did something different. I put on the Ed Hardy, just the original. Oh gosh, I can't remember which one it is. Love Kills Slowly or something. I don't know. The original Ed Hardy. And I just love that fragrance. Um, it was nice to put on something a little different. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.